Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we bring before the Lord all our petitions, all our cries for help. And so, as we begin this Eucharistic celebration, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, 
Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Isaac grew and on the day of the child's weaning, Abraham held a great feast. Sarah noticed the son whom Hagar the Egyptian had born to Abraham, playing with her son Isaac. So she demanded of Abraham, Drive out that slave and her son. No son of that slave is going to share the inheritance with my son Isaac. Abraham was greatly distressed, especially on account of his son Ishmael. But God said to Abraham, Do not be distressed about the boy or about your slave woman. Heed the demands of Sarah, no matter what she is asking of you. For it is through Isaac that descendants shall bear your name. As for the son of the slave woman, I will make a great nation of him also, since he too is your offspring. Early the next morning, Abraham got some bread and a skin of water and gave them to Hagar. Then, placing the child on her back, he sent her away. As she roamed aimlessly in the wilderness of Beersheba, the water in the skin was used up. So she put the child down under a shrub, and then went and sat down opposite him, about a bowshot away. For she said to herself, let me not watch to see the child die. As she sat opposite Ishmael, he began to cry. God heard the boy's cry, and God's messenger called to Hagar from heaven. What is the matter, Hagar? Don't be afraid. God has heard the boy's cry in this plight of his. Arise, lift up the boy, and hold him by the hand, for I will make of him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water, and then let the boy drink. God was with the boy as he grew up. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Come, children, hear me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and takes delight in prosperous days? The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please rise. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our response in our responsorial psalm for this Mass somehow summarizes for us the experience of the people in our two readings today. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. When you feel that you are poor, when you feel that you have nothing anymore, then that is an experience of crying to the Lord. And in our two readings today, we see here two people, two experiences of crying to the Lord because they have no one to turn to. In our first reading from the book of Genesis, we see the story of Hagar, the slave girl of Abraham and Sarah, because the child of Hagar was a child of a slave woman, they were sent away. And in the desert, they have already lost water and the child was dying. It was at that point that Hagar cried to the Lord. In our Gospel reading today, we hear of the two demoniacs, people who were infested by demonic spirits. And because of their suffering, they cried out to the Lord when they saw the Lord. Even if they were being controlled by demons, they themselves are also suffering. That is why when they saw the Lord, they cried out to the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, when was the last time that you cried to the Lord? Have we experienced crying to God, begging Him to help us. And in this experience of crying, 
it is not just an experience of asking for help. In fact, it is an experience of talking to God, trying to understand what we are undergoing, what we are experiencing. Hagar, in the first reading today, when the boy was already almost lifeless in the desert, told God, please, let me not watch to see the child die. Hindi niya sinabi sa Panginoon na, Panginoon, iligtas niyo po ang aking anak. Pero nasabi niya sa kanyang pag-iyak sa Panginoon, Panginoon, wag niyo lang kung kaya ang makita ko ang sarili kong anak na nagdurusa ng ganito at papanaw ng ganito sa paningin ko. See, my dear brothers and sisters, if we are able to cry to God, then we are also able to pour out the contents of our hearts to Him. We are able to speak to Him, to dialogue with Him, and pour out to Him whatever we do not understand in our life. Mga kapatid, sana po ay sa tuwing tayo ay sasamo sa Panginoon at may mga panahon na maiiyak ka sa harapan ng Panginoon. Siguro po, halos, la halos lahat naman sa atin dito nagkaroon na ng pagkakataon na sa tindi ng pangangailangan mo ay maiiyak ka sa harapan ng Panginoon. Sa mga ganitong karanasan ay makikipag-usap ka talaga sa Kanya. May mga tanong ka na gusto mong ibato sa Panginoon may mga tanong ka at lalabas ang mga malalim na pangangailangan mo sa buhay, ang mga tanong sa iyong isip at puso na dadalhin natin sa Panginoong Diyos. I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, we would treasure these experiences that we are able to cry to God, we are able to pray to God, and then we are also able to talk to God with our hearts. In these experiences, we are able to dialogue and speak to our loving God. In this celebration of the Mass, whenever we are in front of Jesus, we pour out our hearts to Him. Sa araw po na ito na tayo ay nagsisimba sa pagharap po natin sa Panginoong Jesus, Dalhin po natin sa Kanya ang lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan. Umiyak man tayo sa Kanyang harapan, alam natin na ang Panginoon ay nakikinig at tayo ay kayang makipag-usap sa Kanya. Dalhin sa Kanya anuman ang mga katanungan, anuman ang ating mga pangangailangan. Crying out to God is an experience of speaking to Him with our hearts. In this celebration of the Eucharist, let us cry out to God and bring to Him the experiences of our hearts. Amen. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. For every petition, let us say, All-powerful Father, stretch out your hand. All-powerful Father, stretch out your hand. That the Church, through its pastors, may be true ministers of healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. All-powerful Father, stretch out your hand. That government officials may not be distracted by the lure of power and money 
and may they realize the evil of corruption in governance. Let us pray to the Lord. All-powerful All Father, stretch, stretch out your, your hand. hand. That purity and respect for human dignity may destroy the unclean spirits at work in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. All-powerful All Father, stretch, stretch out your, your hand. hand. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's healing presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. All-powerful Father, stretch, stretch out, out your, your hand. hand. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. All-powerful Father, stretch, stretch out, out your, hand. your hand. Father, all-powerful, we bring before you our needs and pray confidently for your help to free us from the influence of evil. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the, in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight, our praying of the healing rosary for the world will be led by the community of the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Abandoned here in Santa Ana, Manila. And so we invite all of you again at 9 p.m. to tune in at the Manila Cathedral Facebook page so that every Wednesday evening we could come together even virtually so that we could pray together the rosary for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Give our 